Hey, what's up, folks? It's Bill Main here. Today we're going to be talking about Captain Malcolm Reynolds from the TV series Firefly. If you're unfamiliar with Firefly, what's wrong with you? Go, go watch the show. There's nothing stopping you now. You can literally download the whole entire series. I am to misbehave. And as you can see, we're not just talking about Malcolm Reynolds, but we're going to draw him at the same time. Captain Reynolds was played brilliantly by Nathan Fillion. And the show was created by the remarkably talented uh, Joss Whedon. And let's not talk about him right now, because people thought he was real mean. And so they canceled him. And we don't hear anything about Joss Whedon anymore. Sorry, Joss Whedon. Sorry, people you were mean to. Life can be unfair, folks. Sometimes you have a bad boss. Anywho, the show is uh, like a Western space opera. So in the vein of Star Wars and... Oh, I'm blanking on anything else that might be like that right now. And guess what? Since we literally have no budget for these videos, um, so we're just going to leave that there. So anyway, Mal is kind of a complex character, and he has a real deep sense of loyalty and kind of a strong moral compass that guides him, even when he's faced with things that are seemingly insurmountable. So he fought in something called the Unification War, and he kind of became disillusioned by the corrupt alliance that actually won the war. And so now he's kind of on the outside, and he leads a crew of kind of misfits, and outcasts and they try to kind of eke out a living on the outer rim of the civilization um, they kind of take really risky sometimes shady jobs to do so so his skill set is kind of, he's a really skilled fighter he's a sharpshooter he's super charismatic and he'll do whatever it takes to do what he feels is right even when he's up against the odds which eventually bites him multiple times it's great he has the worst luck in the galaxy and so the show's not just about the captain it really centers around all the bonds that he has formed with his crew and with people that he brings onto his ship along the way and the ship is so kind of tight and small that anybody that they bring on eventually just becomes part of the crew that dynamic between mal and his crew members is kind of the heart of the show and it provides most of the moments of levity and kind of camaraderie and then also some pretty intense drama. Sadly, the show had a really short run on TV, but it did leave a huge mark on its dedicated fan base. And so it was a combination, I think, of witty writing, compelling characters and kind of like a unique blend of genres that made it a classic. So you're going to notice here in a second it's going to cut from my original video to a new video. I just wasn't happy with the likeness that I got of his face. So I'll just go ahead and erase that. And then I'm going to redraw it on one little sketch layer underneath. And then we'll go right over that with like a little ink layer. And, um, and then I think it's pretty much done. And remember, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this, where I just talk about things I like and why I think it's cool, and then draw it as we go. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and then ring that notification bell and all those things that people tell you on YouTube because literally that's the only way that the channels grow. So let's engage, let's talk to each other, and then let's watch some dumb stuff and make art. 